Hi everyone, I'm Rochelle. This is Justin. Hello. And it's time for Tuesday Tips. We are so excited to share with you about the ESGI at home solution. We know a lot of you are getting ready for back to school and you are concerned about what it's going to look like for back to school 2020. But we want to let you know ESGI at home delivers accurate, authentic progress monitoring. You can use Zoom, you can use Google Meet or any district video conferencing software. You can simply share your screen and review progress. Now monitoring your student has never been easier. It's simple, authentic, and accurate. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna show you how. Yeah, today we're gonna take you through the process of uh, having the teacher, the parent, and the student connect to a Zoom meeting in order to assess the student from home. And today, I will be playing the role of teacher, and Rochelle and Emma will be playing the role of parent and student. Let's go. You will first find Zoom or your preferred video conferencing application in your taskbar or the start menu. You will then click schedule. It comes with a pre-named topic, but you can customize that if you need to. You will then select the start date and the start time of the meeting. You can then set a duration, but please note that Zoom free accounts have a 40 minute time limit. You then can set in a meeting ID Generate automatically will generate a unique ID for each meeting and personal meeting ID will send out the same meeting ID each time. We then highly recommend you set a password, but that is optional. And then for video, if you want to begin each meeting with the video off, then you leave these as off. If you want to begin each meeting with all video on, then select participants and host to on. Please note that the host or participant can toggle their video off during the meeting at any point. You then are ready to schedule your meeting. So click schedule. You then will see the meetings in your Zoom page and you'll click these three dots and copy invitation. You then will just simply paste the information into the email and then enter the email address of the parent you intend to send this to. And that is how, as a teacher, you set up a Zoom meeting. As a parent, I can join the teacher's Zoom meeting by clicking the link provided by the teacher. I can either find that in my email, in a calendar invite, or any other way that I typically communicate with the teacher. Here, I just click this Zoom meeting link, open Zoom meetings, and connect with my audio and my video. It is recommended that both audio and video are used on the parent end, and then the parent just waits for the teacher to share their screen. Good. Are you ready to take a rhyming test today? Yes. Okay, let's begin. Tell me a word that rhymes with dog. Sog. Correct. Tell me a word that rhymes with flag. Gag. Correct. Tell me a word that rhymes with cat. Cat. Great. Tell me a word that rhymes with fox. Fox. Great. Tell me a word that rhymes with pig. Egg. Great. Tell me a word that rhymes with beetle. Eel. Correct. Tell me a word that rhymes with socks. Hawk. Yes. Tell me a word that rhymes with bell. Cell. Yeah. Tell me a word that rhymes with cake. Make. Correct. And the last one, tell me a word that rhymes with bed. Ned. Great. <laughs> That's a person's name. You did wonderful. You got 100% on that one. Rochelle, a huge shout out to your daughter, Emma, for joining us today as the student. Great, thank you for having us. Uh, I hope this showed you how easy it is to use ESGI's at-home solution. And just so you know, we had a teacher quote. She says, we love using ESGI through screen sharing so much easier than trying to display materials and the parents were able to see the results right then. It was a game changer and the kids loved it too. We sure hope you give ESGI at home a try. And don't forget, if you want to watch more Tuesday tips, 
You can find them all on our YouTube channel, ESGI Software on YouTube. Until next time. Bye, Justin. Bye.